We begin at the Senate, where Deputy Speaker Kithure Kindeki was ousted this evening in the ongoing Jubilee crackdown. An overwhelming 54 senators voted to remove Professor Kindeki, with only seven senators opposing the motion. In a debate that was acrimonious at the start, Kindeki described his ouster as predetermined and illegitimate. And as Samogina reports, the Tharakanithi senator insists that the president is not behind his tribulations. The motion that had initially appeared as a real contest was in the end a landslide win for President Uhuru Kenyatta in streamlining his Senate leadership from the jaws of his deputy. 54 senators voting to kick out the Senate Deputy Speaker, Kithure Kindiki, against seven senators with no abstention. Abstentions, zero, so the eyes have it. A dramatic vote that saw perceived Ruto allies, including nominated senators, abandon ship, voting to sink Kindiki. Kindiki's ouster followed a morning of intense lobbying of senators to vote him out, with some senators secretly ferried from the precincts of the House this morning to be aligned into adopting a common position. But Kindiki was not going down without a fight, sending punches and hard tackles at his accusers. I am ashamed that we are here discussing party politics at a time when our motherland desperately needs the solidarity of every single Kenyan, even the weakest. Accused of undermining the president in skipping the Senate PG meeting at Stettles, Kindiki was emphatic about what he said was his unwavering loyalty and respect for the president. Whatever reason, Professor failed to attend that meeting and therefore the party lost confidence in him. Let them know, wherever they are, that victory over darkness comes to the victors in installments. But punishment for perpetuating the works of darkness is meted out on the conspirators in one lump sum. DP Ruto allies decried what they termed as capture of the legislature, party dictatorship, and betrayal. As Jubilee will not allow impunity. Worship of demigods within the party to proceed, to continue, Mr. Mr. Speaker, sir. What has befallen my party jubilee is that it has become a religious cult. Why, if you disagree with the party leader, you are called a heathen and thrown out. That is what is happening to Kithure Kindiki. We have become a house that is con controlled from other chambers, from other areas, from other places. Mr. Speaker, I mourn the serial assassination of our independent institutions. Mr. Speaker and the un replacement with shells, ghosts, and zombies, Mr. Speaker. Despite voting to kick out Kindiki from office, senators described the Tharakan Nithi senator as a brilliant and competent lawmaker who was a victim of what they termed as bad political decisions. If my party made a decision to dewip me, whether or not I put a fight, the only thing that I can tell the party is that I am loyal to that party. He went to Lenana School, and I went there after him. He went to more university, I went there after him. He came to the Senate, and I came to the Senate after him. Today his head is on the chopping block. I hope that I will not follow him there. All I have to say, Mr. Speaker, to my good friend, Professor, is that we loved you, but Jubilee Party loved you more. My party, which was the only party in the country, sat here in the old chamber. And uh, when I came out to have tea, Mr. Speaker, at 4 o'clock, having been a member of parliament, it was announced to me, Mr. Speaker, that uh, I, I was a stranger in the house by 4 o'clock. And so, Mr. Speaker, I was a member of parliament in the morning, and by afternoon session, I was a stranger in this house. Uh, that is a party. The party can do that to you. Elgeo Marakwet Senator Kipchumba Murkom and clashed with CIA Senator James Orengo in a heated argument over the removal of the Deputy Speaker. He's a very junior person when it comes to matters of law. Very junior. So he should not be preaching as if he knows the law. As a speaker, Senator Orengo is over and over again repeating and doubting my practice of law or, Mr. Speaker, my knowledge of law. Mr. Speaker, Senator Orengo and I went to the same university, even if the difference was 26 years. I got a second upper, Senator Orengo got a second law. 
I have two master's degree, he has none. With today's vote, it is checkmate as the president tackles his deputy in a high-stakes game of numbers and intricate 2022 succession politics. Samogina Citizen TV, Nairobi.